one of the best and most effective ways to rapidly sequester carbon is to sequester it under grasslands that are intensively grazed. Most fertile grasslands in the world developed under intermittent grazing with large ruminants. The steppes of Russia, the pampas of Argentina, and the Great Plains of North America all formed under thousands and thousands of years of herbivores, ruminants, grazing, depositing manure, trampling, and then moving on. Here at Common Treasury Farm, we graze intensely. We hold them for no more than four days in any one place. This paddock is roughly 30% uh, grazed, 30% has been manured or trampled, and roughly 30% is left. This is textbook ideal, this is what we want. As you can see here, this has been grazed, this hasn't. Every time it's grazed, it sloughs off a bunch of its root mass. That root mass, as it sheds, adds biomass to the soil, it adds all kinds of carbohydrates and uh, material to the soil that build, rapidly build, soil organic matter. And that is the most stable way to sequester carbon. We have the potential to sequester huge amounts of carbon in relatively short amount of time. We have these portable electric fences. This technology has really revolutionized intensive grazing in the last 20 years. If we want to intensively concentrate them in one area to eat down some grass, we can do that. If we want to spread it out and make it bigger so that they eat uh, over a bigger area during that four days, we can do that. You can graze ground very, very heavily provided you give it three weeks to six weeks of rest period. If you come back before that grass has made it to roughly six to eight inches tall and you graze it again, you will degrade the quality of your pasture over time. There's intensive rotational grazing, management intensive grazing, holistic grazing. All of it basically means that you're moving the animals frequently and you're giving that pasture a period of time before you come back. We do offer consultation for small farms. Our website is independentorganicservices.com.